Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of an incredible talk show brought to you by the Indian Football Portal. Today we have with us Mr. Hussain Eldo. Hussain Eldo is a center back who plays for the Lebanon national team and Al Ansar in the Lebanese Premier League. He has played in Lebanon, Portugal, Maldives, Malaysia, Indonesia and India. He has won the Lebanese Premier League thrice, the Lebanese Super Cup thrice, Lebanese Cup once and Lebanese Elite Cup thrice. Hussain has also won the Maldives Premier League, FA Cup and President's Cup. He has represented Churchill Brothers in the I League, making 26 appearances for them in the 2017-18 and 18-19 season. Hello Elder, how are you doing today? Good afternoon guys, I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good and uh, it's my pleasure to make an interview with you. It's a pleasure to have you here as well. Now I would request Ryan to start with the interview. So today we have Mr. Hussain Eldor, who is the second Lebanese international player who has gladly agreed to be a part of the it, uh, the Indian Football Portal's interview after Mohamed Kadur. So uh, Eldor, you are known for your time in India with uh, Churchill Brothers. You play as a centre-back. So how would you describe your playing style and are there any footballers who you are inspired by? Uh, first of all, uh, I can I can see my position is a uh, like uh, as a classy position, and at, at some point, even though it's a, I'm a defender and I'm in the pitch, uh, my job is defending and it's fight, it's about fighting. But I can see some class in it, uh, so I'm inspired by Thiago Silva because I can see this, uh, uh, this, uh, this things and in, 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 in the way how he plays. I can see him in class. I can he see him defending. Uh, well, I can see him as a leader. So defender is a is a very good thing for me. You know, I like it and I like my job and I like to be a defender. Uh, and uh, it's definitely a very very important position on the pitch. You were born in Ivory Coast and at age five you moved to Lebanon. You played street football uh, before you en enrolled into the Al Ahed Youth Academy. And um, uh, what I want to know is how important street football is for the development of a young player. Uh, you 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 you're talking about street football, right? Street football, yes. Uh, street football is is important as. Uh, um, each part of your life is important, so we can't skip it. We can't skip when you when you're young and playing at the street, as it's not important. As you are in a youth academy and you're practicing with coaches, each each uh, part has its own uh, good. So I can see street football is good in terms of building uh, your character, in terms of. Uh, uh, do challenges like playing with others, uh, fighting, uh, whatever. Like it starts from the street, then you, you, it, it continues to grow. Then you, you level a little bit up. Then you go to uh, academy and you start learning by coach stuff. And after you start to learn the, the rules about football and how to play a league, it's important. I can see it very important in terms of building up your character before you go to professional football. Absolutely. You have, you have spoken about the transition. So now you have yourself made the transition from playing for the Al Ahad uh, Academy and then you got a professional contract with them. So what is your advice to all the young players who are at uh, academies of clubs and their dream is to get that pro contract? Uh, okay, first, uh, for me, it's very important uh, to follow the instructions of the coaches. This is very important. You know, coaches got experience and when, uh, when they are trying to uh, teach you something, it's based on experience. So when they teach you, is to make you learn as fast as you can. As a, young, as a young player, you have to keep learning. You have to keep learning to get that top level uh, as fast as you can. That you can play at the top level uh, in, a young, in a young age. That's why you see in Europe young players play at the top levels. Like uh, you find out that he's uh, 17, 18 years and he's playing for, let's say, Paris Saint-Germain and, and, and whatever. So it's very important to listen to the instructions of the coaches. Uh, and to be disciplined, that's, that's very important. 
Right, and I agree because after all, coaches are the, are the ones who take the call, who decide that whether you should get the contract or not. Now, just as you did well at uh, transitioning from a youth uh, level to a professional level at club at club football level, you have done the same internationally. So you have played for the Lebanon under 16, under 19, under 20 and under 23 team. And then you went on to play for the senior national team. So for in terms of pressure, what was the difference between uh, youth and senior level football? Uh, if I want to explain it in terms of uh, of business and companies, I can say that youth national team is like a small company and uh, national team senior is like a big company. So when you are a young company, when you are in a small company, you do the things like you do the all the business things, but there is no atmosphere like the big one. So uh, when playing for national team A, and the senior one, so there is big, big pressure. Uh, the atmosphere is, is different. The fans are very demanding when you play for this, for the young, for the youth national team. They are not smart. the fans and the, the the Lebanese people. Your people are not hungry as much as they do for the senior, and they don't put that pressure on you. Same like the senior. It's, it's, they have the weight, they have, they have passions. They wait from the national team junior to get the experience, to, to, to grow up, to keep learning, to learn from the challenges and the experiences. But at the A, when you reach the senior national team, is you have to be the top, you have to be at your top, you have to be giving 100%. There is no joke, there is no mistakes. There is no, uh, you, you have to be at the top. You have to be giving 100%. It's, it's more like, it's, it's the maximum. It's the maximum that you, you have. You have to show it. That's the difference. I like the example you gave of, of, of a small company and a big company. Now, as a Lebanese player, you made, you got into real big company when you made the move to uh, Benfica. So, what was the age group you moved to Benfica in and uh, what is the Portuguese football environment like? Uh, I, I, I went for tryout to Benfica at, at an age like uh, 19, at that age. But when, I, when I went there, I didn't find like many Ronaldinos. I found out that there is many, many players from all over the world from South America, from Europe, from everywhere, but all are hungry, or or are uh, ready to, to 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 for the challenge, ready to do something big. Uh, I found out disciplined player. I found out that hunger was different. You know, when you are at Benfica, and you see many examples, like uh, players like David Luiz, he was in Benfica and he moved to Chelsea, Paris Saint Germain, national team of Brazil. Then when you're there, it's different. You you can feel how how real it is. How you are close to your dreams. How how you can you start to believe more in your dreams that it can come come true. You know, this is uh, uh, this is what I I found out there. So uh, what they focus on is on the little small details in Europe for them. The little small details in football. It's important for them. That's why they are ahead. They are not like any other place when it comes to football. You know, they are the best, always controlling, always winning. Uh, they are at the top because of uh, focusing on little important things and how professional they are. They do sure. the, yeah. they they do the things correctly. They I'm don't sure. mind. To improve, yes. I'm sure this uh, helped you improve a lot and you went and played in the esteemed AFC Cup. Now, the challenge there is that you're playing against opponents from different countries and they are not in the same league as you. So, then you might have to face unknown opponents, not knowing how they use, how they really play. So, what is the team preparation like so that, you know, you're in the best position to, to try, and, uh, give, uh, try and fight the unknown opponents? Uh, like... You know, there is basics in each position. For me, as a center back, when I go to face, let's say, uh, South Korea, like they all look, for example, similar, and it's and and they play in Europe, and you cannot uh, you cannot read the game. You know, you have even if you watch it, they have many style how to play. 
So for me, there is few basic things I always focus on and I practice on to to be ready for for all the type of the striker. Those who are skillful, those who are powerful, those who are good in the air. So I always try to make that balance, uh, can, which can make me control all the types of the strikers. So it's important and it's very good to give you experience and uh, to to get ahead. So in the AFC Cup, which were the which countries clubs have you played against? Uh, I played against many many countries. So Arab countries like uh, Kuwait. Oman, Syrian, Jordan, the Bahrain, the Bahrain uh, team, uh, the Jordanian team. I played against even in, in in the Far East. I played against Singapore team, Myanmar team, Bhutan team. So I I, I faced many many type of strikers, many from Europe, Brazil, Africa. So it's good. It's good experience to face all of these. That that's some that's some pedigree, and you've now you spoke about the importance of coaches. You've played under Bruce or Oscar Bruzon, Janini, uh, Booker, Radulovic, Durakovic. There's so the, the list goes on and on of reputed coaches. Now, what are some key traits you have learned from such esteemed coaches? Uh, the most the most coach who like we can say affected positive on me is Michel Salgado. Michel Salgado was my coach in Dubai Sports Academy and he taught me many things. The guy who played for Real Madrid for more than maybe he played for 10 years, almost 10 years. So full of experience. Everything he used to say on the pitch is like a big thing for me. You know, we have to keep learning from every word he say. The guy is, is just experienced. So... He was, he taught, as a defender, he taught me many things, like how to defend, uh, when to attack, when to defend well, how to stop a counter. So the basics, I, I got to learn from him well. And, uh, and I appreciate this. So it's, it was a very good experience with him. Definitely, especially someone of his caliber who's been at the top of football. Now we come to the next uh, segment of questions, which is going to be the most interesting because most of our audience are from India, are Indians from India. So you are part of the foreign contingent at Churchill Brothers alongside uh, Khaled Aucho, Dora Sise and Willis Plaza. How well did you adapt to Indian football? Uh, to be honest, when I came for the, fir uh, the first season, uh, the team was struggling, and I came and uh, and now like you know when you come, some sometimes you sign for teams at the beginning of the season, and your adaptation it's it get easier, but when you come in the middle of the season and the team is struggling, you have to put double effort to make it happen. Like I, uh, uh, I felt my adaptation was was okay but after few few weeks because of the weather because of the nature of india it's it was a completely different country i never been in india i never i never seen uh, many things in india it was completely new but i was focusing on football and i was focusing on 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 succeed with the club that was my goal i didn't let the things affect on me in a bad way uh, as much as I thought, I have to, I'm here for a reason. I have to make Churchill uh, come back. I have to win something with them. That was in the first season. But in the second one, it was easy. I already felt uh, like home. Uh, the family was fantastic. They respected uh, all the foreigners. They respected uh, everything. Like everything we asked for, they used to. Uh, they used to help us to play better. They they were good and they helped us for adopt for adopt very quickly. And this 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 is was this was amazing. There was an immediate impact because you came in and you helped your team win two 0 against uh, Shillong Lajong. So now, since you know Indian football so well because you've had a good a good couple of seasons. What is the difference between the I League playing in the I League in comparison to all the other countries that you have played in? To be honest, 
uh, I can see I can see the the Indian League is is a league who are, who have many fighters. They can run a lot, fight a lot, and it has difficult circumstances. Like when you travel to play against Shillong in uh, or against uh, Icewell, you travel. It's it's very far, you know. It's like you travel from a country to another. So it's it's not easy. It's not easy to travel to face them there. Different, even different weather. We used to. Uh, we used to be in Goa, and it's 40 degrees, and we travel to Kashmir, and it's minus five there. So this experience will never happen for you in your life, unless you are in India. This happen. This is. This only how can happen in India. So uh, I can see playing in India is not that difficult as much as I expected. The more difficult is the circumstances like how, ma how much you travel many transit you know when you fly to let's say to Mumbai you have to stop here then you have to fly again here to stop here then go to Mumbai it takes days to arrive that's the difficult part about the I League but in terms of the quality of the players there is many good players in India many uh, decent players they can do well but uh, but but tactically, they could do better. And if they if they bring the coaches that India needed, they will help even the national team to 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 improve and get better and better. Great point. Great point. And I think it's the size of the country that gets those circumstances. Now, what would you say is the difference between Indian football and Lebanese football? Because both India and Lebanon are countries that are still coming up in the you, I, you could say the global roadmap. So, what's the difference between the two? So, I can say that India is is more uh, uh, like uh, physical, is more physical, but the Lebanese world are more tactical and and skillful. You know, the type of the players in Lebanon are more skillful and uh, good with the ball. They like to, they like, this, they focus on this. In India, they can run more. The That's weather. Okay. Uh, the, the temperature of the country and this it can it can make them run like there is no tomorrow but in Lebanon in Lebanon is you can find only skillful players that's good that's the culture in every country now you are uh, we are coming towards the end of the uh, of the interview now you have been eligible to play for two countries at uh, senior national team level because you hold dual citizenship. So can you talk about both the countries, your connection with both countries and why you chose to represent the Lebanese national team at an international level? Uh, for uh, my mom, my mom, Uh, Lebanese atmosphere, the Lebanese league, the Lebanese coaches, and I'm here in the country, so I can give them something as I raised up here and uh, in this beautiful country. So I decided to choose Lebanon because I had the opportunity. So to be honest, if I had the opportunity to every cost at that time, maybe I, I wouldn't hesitate to play for them. It's also Ivory Coast is a very big uh, national team. They always play World Cup and the best. So I choose to play for Lebanon because I got the chance. And at the same time, I have to pay back for Lebanon where I grew up. That's great loyalty. That's great loyalty. And we hope that you know the connection between Lebanon and India increases with more people like you and uh, Kadu coming in to play for the uh, play the Indian League. Thank you so much, Elda, for being with us over here. And I'm sure that after this interaction, many defenders will take inspiration and try to increase the level of the game and try to be better.